For this video, we're going to dive in a bit more to trying to push these dates to my Google Calendar. And I can also include contacts so I can send it to their calendars as well. Um, and just really trying to ease the process of getting that onto your schedule so you can see exactly what you have coming up. So in this case, the very first thing I'm going to notice is I don't have my calendar option here. And so I know that's something that's kind of thrown people off before. One of the very first things you have to do when you're creating these date templates is actually make it enabled for the API connection. And you will need to have the Google connection itself set up. So if you don't have your Google API connected yet, you'll need to do that first and then make sure that these dates are set up to be pushed to that API. What I'm going to do here is actually hop out of the transaction for a moment just so I can show you what that's going to look like. So I'm going to close that. We're going to go to our field editor and go to our dates. And you'll see that the dates specifically have this API calendar option. If you look here, this purple one has been enabled. I didn't have that enabled on the transaction we're looking at, but this one, if it was available, it would be ready to go. So for now, let's say I want this one, this one, this one, maybe this one, and let's do this one. Okay, so now these dates are available to push to the calendar. The rest could have the dates and have the fields showing, but you won't be able to push those to the calendar. So now that I have enabled those, let's jump back to the transaction. Go to my date section. And you'll see I now have these calendar icons. So that is letting me know that it's available to push it to my calendar, but it hasn't actually pushed it through yet. It still needs to have a quick confirmation. Now, one of the things before I do that is to show you in the contacts here. I, I briefly touched on this in the managing your contacts video, but if you come in here, there's an option to include all calendar date invitations. So if I select this, anything here I push through the API connection is going to add to whatever calendar I select, but also this contacts calendar. So I'll go ahead and just leave that enabled just so we have a, a sample of what that looks like. Now let's go ahead and look at this date and try and push it through the integration. There's the information, my API calendars. It's going to search for what calendars do you have access to? So I have a few different ones here. I'm going to just say this is my OTC calendar. You can plug in a specific calendar location and then notice available contacts. I can manually select whichever contacts I have and push it to them specifically. Or in the case where David Pennant here is included on all invitations, he's already been plugged in. So the way this is set up, it'll push it to my calendar, push it to David's, and then good to go. So all I have to do at this point is press save. And you'll see now there's the purple checkbox. Let me know that this has been pushed through the API connection and that should now be on my calendar. So now let's go ahead and just turn him off for a second. If you go through, and obviously there's a few of these that haven't been pushed through yet, and I maybe you, you have 10, 20, you know, different dates that need to get pushed to the calendar, rather than going through individually, opening it up, you know, selecting the calendar, pressing save, etc. You can go into your defaults and settings. Come down here to the bottom where there is the property sync. Choose which, which calendar that you're going to want to push to. So in this case, again, pick my OTC calendar and go ahead and press sync. What it's going to do, give you a quick warning here, it's going to try to go through and push all the dates it can to my calendar. And depending on how many there is, this could take a little bit, but Mine should be pretty quick. So let's go ahead and click yes. It's going through scanning for all those different dates so it can push it through and all the dates were added to my calendar. So now let's go ahead and close this out. And you'll see these four ones are now purple. They've been pushed through to my calendar. And this one is still grayed out because we didn't set a date in there. So hopefully between the applying the date templates so this is automatically calculating those dates and then automatically syncing with your calendars this should help save a lot of time 